if you have converted um, your data set into an Excel defined table, you may have discovered that you can't use a cell reference to the data Excel defined table in a drop down list. But there is a workaround and go to tab data on the ribbon, click data validation and then click list and here you would type the table name and then the column name, first name and then click OK button but it won't allow you to do that <clears throat> so what you need to do is to use the indirect function and then a parenthesis and double quotes and an ending parenthesis and then click OK button. And now you can see that the drop down list appears and you are now able to select a value here. And the values here are from this column here. And you can also use this to get the, the header names to a drop down list and you do the same table name headers click OK button and in this drop down list you have the header names you can also use the index function to grab to get the values from a row to do that go to the tab data on the ribbon click data validation button and then select list in this drop down list and in the source type equal, equal sign index function parenthesis table indirect double quotes table one ending parenthesis a comma and in the second argument type the row number and I want to get the values in row 3 or in this case it's row number 1 and then a comma again and a zero and the zero allows you to grab all the values on that row and then click OK button and this drop down list has the values from row, the first row you can't use cell references to a table in conditional formatting formulas either uh, but if you use the count the indirect function you can and I'm going to show you in this example here I have two data sets and I want to highlight the values that in this table here that exists in this table here and not only values I want them to be records so I'm going to build the conditional formatting formula now 
And to do that, I'm going to use the count ifs function. And the first value is a cell reference to this value here. And I want it to be locked to column B. And then I need to use the indirect function and then a reference to table one and the column name is first name. And in the third count ifs argument, I'm going to use this cell value here. And then I'm going to copy this formula. And change it to last name. And the last thing to do is to copy these arguments and change this argument to this cell and change this argument to this column here. So that would be company name. And then an ending parenthesis and enter this as an array formula. Press and hold control and shift keys and then press enter once. And this formula checks if this value is found in this column here. And if this value is in this column here, and if this value is in this column here. And if all three values are on the same row somewhere in this table, it returns 1. And if it finds two records with these values, it returns 2. And now I can... And that this formula returns an array so if I and that array is has the same size as this uh, data set or the same number of rows as in this data set so I need to use the sum function to sum all the values in this array and now it returns zero as well and now if I copy this formula to cells below here yeah, this, this cell reference and this cell reference and this cell reference changes to the next row and now it returns one so this record here is somewhere in this table here and it's here and this formula, you're, you're allowed to use this formula in a conditional formatting formula because I'm using the indirect function here. And this record here is also found here. So copy this, select these records here. Go to tab home on the ribbon, click on the conditional formatting button, and then click new rule. Click use a formula to determine which cells to format. And paste the conditional formatting formula here. And then click on the format button. And I'm going to use a light gray value. Click OK, OK button again. And now, conditional formatting formula highlights these values that have a record in this data set up here. You can put these 
re highlighted records on the top of this data set. So select a cell in right click on a cell, highlighted cell, and then go to sort and put selected cell color on top. And now we have these records at the very top.